वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एज वेल एज आई विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व विद फॉर्मूलाज एंड स्मिथ चार्ट एज वेल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट इट इज सेंग सो इट इज सेंग ए ट्रांसमिशन लाइन विथ ए फ्रिक्वेंसी इज गिवेन एज ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू टेन पावर सिक्स रेडियन पर सेकेंड आल्फा वैल्यू इज गिवेन बीटा वैल्यू इज गिवेन एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पोर्टेंस इज गिवेन and the length is given so with this the uh, value is given and uh, if the line is connected to a source where the voltage source voltage is given and the zg that means the source impedance is given as 40 ohm and terminated by a load of 20 plus j 50 ohm so that is the zl so this is my zl this is zs and this is the zg so all these things are given and uh, question is that find the input impedance find the sending end current and current at the middle of the line so at uh, let's say it is saying there is a transmission line and this side the load is there zg is given and here voltage is given as this much and the characteristic impedance is given as z not and the load impedance is connected here so that is given as your zl so it has asked the input impedance so we have to find the z in here okay and the sending end current so from this side what is the current value and the current at the middle of the line so somewhere middle of the line what is the current value or the im it is asking so to find the input impedance we know already the formula direct formula is there so that is zd in equals to z not whole into so this is the standard formula from transmission line so z zl plus z not into tan hyperbolic gamma l divided by z0 plus zl into tan hyperbolic gamma l okay now let us see in this equation what value is given and what is not given so here zl is given z0 is given length is given so only um, unknown parameter is the gamma value that we need to find so how to find that so gamma is equals to how much alpha plus j beta now you can see in the question the alpha is given and the beta is given okay but the alpha is given in db and the, the gamma value is actually not in db so it is actually in nepers per meter right so we need to find the alpha value in terms of nepers per meter so previously you know that alpha value is presented as neper per meter and your one neper so that is equals to equivalent to 8.686 db so that is the standard value of one neper so that means we can represent the alpha value as so that is equals to 8 which is given in the question and divided by 8.686 so that will uh, come around uh, 0.921 neper per meter okay so now once we got the alpha value so what will be gamma value now so gamma will be equals to 0.921 plus beta so j into beta beta is given as 1 radian per second so 1 here now what will be the gamma l value so uh, okay now the gamma l value so gamma l value is equals to how much so that is equals to 2 into sorry gamma l that is equals to 2 into the gamma value that is equals to 2 into 0.921 plus j1 okay so the, that will be now gamma l value why i am finding the gamma l value because here this will be used so that value will come around 2 into 0.9 so it is 1.84 plus j2 simple right now we know the what is the gamma l value and we can put all this this gamma l value here and then we need to find the tan of tan hyperbolic of gamma l so that will uh, come around if, uh, in calculator you can directly use tan hyperbolic function so this value will come as 1.033 plus sorry um, i think it will be minus minus j 0.3929 okay I hope it's uh, visible. Let me just check. Yeah. 
so now after putting all these values where where we have to put all these values so all these values we can put in z in i'll go to a new page okay so now your z in value will be equals to how much so in the formula we'll just put so z0 is given as 60 plus j40 this is the z0 value as given in the question and here zl okay so zl plus z0 60 plus j40 into 1.033 minus j 0.03929 so you use all the decimal values here uh, so that the answer will come correct divided by 60 plus j 40 so that is the z 0 plus 20 plus j 50 that is z l and into the same 0 1.033 minus j 0. Point j 0.3929 so now what will be this value so this will come z in is equals to 60.25 plus j 38.79 ohms so make sure that uh, you use the uh, unit at the end so that is very important so this is the z in value that means on the transmission line so transmission line here is the zin is there so this value are uh, what we got we got as 60.25 plus j 38.9 so this is the answer to bit number a and the second bit is saying find the sending end current okay so let us go to the second bit now the sending end current how do i find that so if i use the volt uh, means the normal voltage divider rule so i'll be finding at uh, what position if i consider z equals to 0 i means at the initial condition so that is voltage at the starting divided by z in total impedance plus the source impedance so it is like this if uh, one is here one is here so this is your zg and this is your uh, z in so z in includes your all z so z in is a combination of z0 and your zl so it is not addition of that it's a combination of that now here the voltage given is vg so i is equals to vg divided by the total impedance so that's how it is taken so that is equals to voltage in the question how much given so voltage in the question is uh, given as this one okay we'll use the same value here so that is equals to 10 divided by how much so z in plus z g so z g uh, z in we just got it how much so this value we got so 60.25 plus j 38.79 plus z g in the question it is given as simple 40 okay so this value uh, with a complex number it will come as it is a current we need to uh, replace uh, represent that as an angle form so here it will come as minus 21.15 milliamperes so remember milliampere is important here okay now this is the answer to bit number second bit now we'll go to now we'll go to the third point so this is the current at the middle of the line so middle of the line means current at this position okay So current at uh, uh, middle of the line, so how do we find that? Okay, we'll go to next page. Yeah. So current in the middle of the line means we have to take first of all Z equals to L by 2. So that is what we need to consider first. Okay. And uh, current is defined as current at any point, let's say L by 2. So that is what I am putting Z equals to L by 2. So formula is what V0 plus divided by Z sorry divided by Z0 into e to the power minus gamma Z minus V0 minus divided by Z0 e to the power plus gamma Z. Okay. So instead instead of Z here 
what value we have to use we have to use l by 2 so l by 2 will be equals to 1 here right so we need to know first what is the value of v0 plus and v0 minus z0 is already known to us and gamma value is as well known to us so this is coming from the transmission line equation for uh, current so i am not going to derive that here i am just solving the problem here now what will be v0 plus so your v0 plus that is equals to 1 by 2 into v0 plus z0 into i0 so what is this v0 plus and the voltage drop because of the current and the in characteristic impedance so this will give you the v0 plus again this is from the transmission line equation uh, problem so how to do that so 1 by 2 v0 is how much so your uh, v0 is given as 10 okay and uh, applying all the values so i'll directly write it here so after applying all the values this voltage value will come as 6.687 12.5 12.08 i am not doing the calculation here uh, with the calculator but these are the necessary formulas you need to use and uh, you can calculate that okay and your v0 minus so that will be equals to 1 by 2 sorry v0 minus that is equals to 1 by 2 v0 minus z0 into i0 okay so that will come on 0 0.518 with angle of 260 degree so this will be your v0 plus and v0 minus okay now the question is uh, how this v0 how do you find so v0 will be how much so you see here current we got that is 93.03 so your i0 will also be same why because in the transmission line the current will remain same so your current value is i0 so that is equals to 93.03 minus 21.15 degrees milliampere so that we got from the previous value now what is the v0 value so v0 value is equals to z in okay z in into i0 so that is the total voltage so that is equals to if uh, putting all the values it will come as 6.667 11.62 degrees okay so that is the v0 value we got and this v0 value will be used in these two equations okay in these two equations is the v0 values now once we got the v0 uh, uh, v0 plus value so we can use v0 plus value and v0 minus value here okay so what it will be now so now the current will be equals to i of l by 2 that is at z equals to l by 2 so that value will be equals to now 6.687 what is this 6.687 so here we got this uh, v0 okay so that value v0 plus and v0 minus i am going to use 6.687 e to the power j 12.08 so why this if the angle is there it's representing this in the um, exponential form this will be like this into e to the power gamma z okay so l by 2 if i put so it will be 0 0.921 minus j1 simply it will be the gamma value because if l is 2 then l by 2 is 1 so whatever we got the value as gamma here so we can directly use that so this one uh, is the gamma value you can see uh, here so this is the gamma value i am just using directly that that value only i am writing so again divided by 60 plus j40 that is your z uh, that is your z not given so this much minus again b minus b0 minus is here 0 0.0518 at angle of not uh, we'll write like exponential j 260 degrees into e to the power so here plus gamma z so plus 9 to 1 plus j 1 divided by your 60 plus j 40 now this is a uh, simple complex calculation uh, with the calculator directly you can get the value so this value will come around 
at angle of 281 degrees milliamps. So this is how you can uh, get the value. And uh, in the next video, I will solve one more problem. So uh, use the calculator if you have any doubt, any point, then you can just comment. I'll answer there. So thank you.